Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel English Audio Class. Friends, in my previous video, I have discussed the summary and analysis part of a short story titled as Daughter. A short story written by Latha Jagdiyani. While this short story is prescribed for the students of BCom BBA of Bengaluru North University and Bangalore University. Well, today in this session, let me continue with the same chapter. In this session, I am going to discuss objective type questions are also called as two mass questions. Well, I am giving you the possible answers for the questions. In the textbook, you will find about 10 or 15 questions, but I am giving you in this session around 36 questions along with the answers. I am sure that these questions will help you for your examination. By asking the questions, objective questions, and also giving the answers, I am sure you will become more confident to answer any kind of question that will be asked in your examination. I am sure you will understand the entire story once again. Friends, watch this video till the end. Yeah, let us begin. The first question is, Daughter is a poignant short story about Option A, Patriarchy Option B, Environmental Pollution Option C, War Option D, Refugee Crisis Yes, the correct answer is Patriarchy. Let's come to the second question. The short story revolves around the central character blank. The answer is A. Suresh Chabriya B. The Lion Sorab Sahib C. Rakesh D. Deepa Yeah, you are sure the correct answer is Deepa. Let us come to the third question. The family members are gathered at Sorab Sahib's office for blank. Option 1. Deciding the distribution of property. Option 2. Hearing the distribution. Option 3. Challenging the distribution. Yeah, the correct answer is Hearing the distribution. Let's move to the fourth question. Who is Saurabh Sahib? The answer is Saurabh Sahib was a liar and childhood friend of Suresh Chabriya. He drew up Suresh's will. He read Suresh's will after Suresh's death. Move to the fifth question. What did Deepa and her brother get from their father's property according to their will? answer is according to the will Deepa received a sum of 7 lakhs which is already nominated to her as a reserve bank of India bonds. What the sixth question? What did Deepa's brother get from their father's property according to the will? The answer is Deepa's four brothers got the rest of the estate all equally divided. More than six crores were divided equally among her four brothers. Come to the seventh question. What was the value of Deepa's father's assets? How much was Deepa's share? The answer is Deepa's father's assets are worth more than 6 crores. Deepa received a sum of 7 lakhs. Eighth question. Only Deepa was alarmed at reading the will because blank complete the sentence. There are possible answers like Deepa received a mere amount of 7 lakhs or you can say she is left with a small share of her father's property or even you can answer as she was discriminated against. Any one of these possibilities can be the answer for the question. Let's move to the ninth question then. What was the reaction of the lawyer when he first heard about Chabria's distribution of his property? The answer is the lawyer when he first heard Chabria's distribution of his property was aghast. Come to the 10th question. How did Suresh defend himself when Sorab asked him about the unfair distribution of property in the lesson daughter? Answer is, Suresh defended that she had a job at a travel agency that's paying her 10,000 rupees a month. She won't need more than this. Let's come to the 11th question. How did Sorab react to the phone call in the office that day? Sorab shouted angrily into the phone and disconnected the calls in the office that day. Twelfth question. Why did Sorab react angrily to the phone calls in the office that day? The answer is because he was in no mood to work and wanted to run out of his suffocating office. Thirteenth one is whom did Deepa used to call Robin? Deepa used to call her younger brother Gopal Robin. Let us come to the 14th question. Why did Deepa used to call her younger brother Robin? The answer is Deepa used to call her younger brother Gopal Robin as she was a fan of the cricketer's name Robin. 
15th question is what was deepa's qualification the answer is she had a post graduate degree and a diploma in marketing management 16th question is deepa wanted to join blank option a air force option b defense option c her father's business option d dance classes yeah you are sure the answer is her father's business come to the 17th question why did suresh chabria call sorab to the turf club the answer is suresh chabria called sorab to the turf club to discuss his fill let's come to the 18th question what did suresh call deepa to be in his old age suresh called deepa is walking stick in his old age let's move to the 19th question how did suresh react to the lawyers protest against the decision to leave only a part sum of 7 lakh rupees to deepa suresh was adamant about the decision he relented 20th question how did suresh defend himself when sorab asked him about the unfair distribution of property the answer is suresh defended that she has a job at the travel agency that's paying her 10000 rupees a month along with an expenses account she won't need more than this let's move to the 21st question the lawyer sorab felt ashamed of himself for not trying to convince suresh to leave deepa with more money true or false yeah the answer is true let's move to the 22nd question why had sorab at first angrily dialed deepa's cell number and then stopped it was to tell deepa about her father's will 23rd question what was a breach of confidence according to the lawyer why did sorab the lawyer not tell deepa about her father's will when it was drafted the answer for these possible questions is it was a breach of confidence to tell deepa about her father's will well in advance 24th question what was deepa watching facing the window at sorab sahib's office the answer is deepa observed a one day cricket match facing the window at the oval maidan of sorab sahib's office after her brothers left the office 25th question what was the umpire's unfair decision the answer is the player had not been out of the crease he was inside but the umpire unfairly had declared him out 26 question is how did the lawyer convince deepa's disagreement with the umpire decision is so rap the lawyer also agreed with deepa and convinced her that the poor batsman must go with the umpire's verdict even if it is unfair 27th question the umpire actually represents blank option a deepa's father option b deepa's brothers option c the lawyer option d deepa arsel yeah the answer is deepa's father let's come to the 28th question the batsman in the cricket deepa watching actually represents blank option a deepa's father option b deepa's brothers option c the lawyer option d deepa herself yeah sure that is deepa herself let's move to the 29th question Sorab took the day off because blank. Complete the sentence. Possible answer is he was in no mood for work and wanted to run out of his suffocating office. Come to the thirtieth question. What did the lawyer notice at the NCPA bus stop? The answer is he saw a familiar figure standing in a long line at the NCPA bus stop. Or even he can write. Deepa was standing at the NCPA bus stop. 31st question. A familiar figure standing at the NCPA bus stop was blank. You can also have question like who was the familiar figure standing at the NCPA bus stop. For this question also the answer is Deepa. Let us move to the 32nd question. What was the standing familiar figure doing at the NCPA bus stop? you'll also find a question like what was deepa doing at the ncpa bus stop 
the answer is same for these two questions that is a standing familiar figure Deepa at the NCPA bus stop was staring at the cover of the book in her hand unaware of the pouring rain come to the 33rd question when the lawyer saw Deepa's eyes he could see black option A tears in Deepa's eyes option B eyes showing sorrow option C her eyes appeared like an empty airless space yeah the answer is C her eyes appeared like empty airless space 34th question whom does Saurabh call up after Deepa leaves his office the answer is Sora called up his granddaughter after Deepa left his office. Let us come to the 35th question. What did Deepa remind Sora of? The answer is Deepa reminds Sora of a dreaded lake he had once seen motionless and vacant. 36th question. The story ends with blank. Option A Deepa leaving the country. Option B, Deepa crying. Option C, Deepa sitting in the lawyer's office. Option D, Deepa sitting in the bus stop in rain. Yes. Option D is the correct answer. That is Deepa sitting in the bus stop in the rain. Friends, I believe that these questions will help you for your examination. Friends, I believe that these 36 questions which are chosen from your text will help you face any kind of question which may be asked in your examination. Please do watch out another video. I am going to upload on the same topic which will be useful for you facing the 5 marks question in the semester examination. So that you would wait and watch for that video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am Professor Venkata Ramo BR, Assistant Professor of English at Government First Grade College, Gudi Bande. Well, let us meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.